Hi again, it's Steve from Stapling and Nailing Supplies, mytoolkit.co.uk. Uh, looking today at Stanley Bostitch N66 Coil Nailer. Comes in a very durable case, as you can see there. Um, ideal for on site or if you're storing the tool on a vehicle or whatever. Um, air operated coil nailer. But what I do like about this one, we get many calls from people um, trying to get a coil nailer that will do all. And when I say do all, they want to do small nails and large nails. And what it is, on the smaller coil nailers, they have a thinner nail, a 2.1 in thickness, and then they go up to a 2.5 and even thicker for the longer nails. But this tool actually bridges over the gap. It'll fire from a 32mm 2.1, but go right up to a 64mm 2.5. So it's got a lot of versatility about it. So if you're just going to buy one tool, this one is ideal. Obviously providing 65 or 64 mil is enough uh, for your requirements, what, two and a half inch in all money. Whereas normally a, um, a 2.1 coil nailer would um, cap off at 50 mil, two inch. So there's a tool there, standard um, magazine, coil magazine. It does have an adjustable depth of drive. And when you move that adjustable depth of drive under the trigger there, it moves the safety arm in and out. In, in turn, it puts the nose of the tool closer or further away from the work surface. And that way, you, the penetration of the nail, it can be brought flush with the surface. And of course, that's ideal if you're doing something like fence panels, feather edge board. Rather than firing through the board so they pop off easily, you can have it nice and flush on the surface. Other advantage as well, of course, is if you fire in, it splinters the wood, so then when you're staining, you get those dark areas where the nail's penetrated through. So that is a feature I do like on this. Comes fitted with a single shot trigger, and by that, what I mean to say is, the nail um, gun won't fire until that safety is depressed, but on this, you just pull the trigger, you have to move away again, and pull again. So that is called the sequential single shot. But what we do, in every coil nailer, we put in a contact trigger. That's the black one there. Just simple, fit that trigger. And with the contact trigger, what you can do when it's fitted is hold the trigger and you can actually bounce fire the tool. So that's ideal for um, rapid work, maybe pallet industry, or if you're making fence panels. So that comes complete with every kit. Um, to load the tool, just open up the door there open up the magazine. That base plate there can be adjusted for different sized nails. And all it does, it just helps support the nails into the feed system. So if I move that up, as you can see there. The nails, this one here is a 2.1, which is ideal for the shed making, pen, uh, fence panels, etc. It's uh, 40 mil, ring shanked, galvanized. Now if I drop those nails in, feed the nails along, and those nails, once they're fed in there, shut the door. If that door doesn't shut easily, uh, just readjust the nails. Uh, you don't have to force that at all. And what I'll do, I'll put some safety specs on, connect it to the airline, and just fire a couple of nails in the wood here. They come complete as well, by the way, with a high flow nail fitting but if you let us know if you've got another type of fitting say a pcl we can actually change that one over for you as well we do everything for you here <laughs> connect that to the airline a little bit of timber here just fire the nail in as i said it's a single shot what i'm going to do now and i'm going to just adjust that to fire it further in And then what I want to do is, is bring it out again. There we go. So what I'm going to do there, if we bring the camera forward, I've just fired that one in there, and you can see how it's penetrated below the surface. And then what I'm going to do is adjust this depth of drive. Put this one. Now that one's actually proud, so we'll keep the camera there. There 
we go, we can maybe compress a cut in as well. But just on that point, you can see when it's penetrated above the surface, and that one's just below. But with just a little bit of time on that, you can adjust it so it's nice and flush on the surface. So there we go. Compressor running as well. As you already know by now, you can always follow us Facebook, Instagram, follow us on YouTube as well. But there we go. If you've got any questions, you can always email us, you can always pick up the phone. So see you again soon. The compressor's off as well. Take care. Thank you.